Good boy. Good boy. Mr. Goofball Ignik here uh, is what you would call an archetypical Malamute. Um, you can see that my hands are firmly fitting in between his front legs. He has a massive chest for sure. And he is overall a really like good representation of the breed. But this breed comes in all kinds of shapes. Um, it's just simply due to whatever they were made for, quote unquote, you know, or uh, what kind of breed strains you have, you know, it all depends a little bit. So I thought I'm just showing you a little bit my team and the differences between them. So here is Ignik again, moving around. He is um, a little bit more of the quote unquote clumsy type. He is really uh, made for heavy pulling. So he has a little bit of a bouncy kind of movement, a bit more heavy. Nippy here, who is his father, is uh, much, it's quite, he's quite squarish. He's bigger, but he has drive like hell. So he, all what he has in not movability, he makes up for just sheer drive, basically. Nag is a much more fast moving kind of dog, uh, a little bit lighter, although he still weighs like 38 kilos or so. Um, but they both are pretty much like he is just really good in terms of drive and all, you know. The same for Anirok, you know, they both look pretty much the same. They're brothers. Galina here, she's not, uh, didn't want to cooperate much. She is a <laughs> heavy, heavy goofball. But um, she is really nice, quite, quite good moving. Uh, she's a little bit fat there right now, but um, moves really nice. I could pick her daughter. She's a bit higher on her leg, a little bit shorter in body, also a little bit chubby at the moment, but um, she has a uh, very, very nice movement actually. And now to the little, more little girls. Um, Tika is a very, like now she's 11 years old, so she doesn't move that good anymore. But um, she still holds her, her place in the team and all, you know, so it barks and banks when she wants to. A little bit insecure sometimes, but uh, she she wants to. And her sis, her daughter Kinyak, uh, very, she's quite small for even for female. She's actually perfectly fine in terms of like breed standard, but she's a little bit more slimmer type. If you look at her, in terms of how they move, now you can see it a little bit better on the side. You can see here he is a little bit. Those two big guys they move a little bit more clumsy. Nag and Anjurok, they both, they are a little, they are much more stable and just move their legs basically. Galina obviously didn't want to cooperate, but um, all of the females, they actually move really nice, quite steady and just move the legs basically. So it's a bit hard to see now, obviously, but um, they, they move really nicely, actually. The bigger the dog, the more clumsier they can get. But then it also depends a little bit on um, how their overall build. Ignik is, is actually has a really nice angulation. Nippy Turok looks like ass. <laughs> he's also not really the type that really likes to uh, get stacked and all, you know. But he's a little bit more squarish. But um, his shortness makes up for uh, clumsiness that he could potentially get. Nag here and also his brother Anirok, they both look really nice in terms of um, angulation, front build. Uh, Nag is a little bit lighter, a bit more narrow build, but um, they're about the same. <laughs> Anirok wanted to goof around pretty much the whole time. So he wasn't really co cooperating that much. But there you go. You got a little bit out of him. <laughs> Galina, like I said, she's a little bit chubby now, still quite, sh she's a bit short coated. Uh, but um, otherwise, she's actually a really nice angulated female. Uh, Lex a little bit in the front there right now, but um, that's also, you know, the front, the chest. You can build that up by just uh, making heavy pulls and all. I, I did a lot of 
more lightweight poles. Uh, by the way, Akpik here, she's a bit squarish, but otherwise she has quite nice angulation. She's a bit higher on her legs, you know, you can see that there. Um, the, the chest legs a little bit there. And like I said, you can make up a little bit by, by just training heavy poles, which I haven't done much. I wanted to get them more, like a little bit more smooth moving. And now I'm getting a little bit more into heavier pulls. Tika looks really awesome, especially for her age. She still, uh, she loses a lot of weight in the summer. She always like muscles, you know. But um, then later on, uh, when she gets some training, she actually starts to look really nice. Kinyak here still has no coat. <laughs> looks like a little husky. But uh, once she builds up, she actually is a really nice looking female. It could be a size bigger, but in terms of breeding standard, she's still well in it. I think she's 58 centimeters or something, something like that. So, yeah, that's uh, a couple, a couple uh, cents left and right about um, how those guys look. You can see a little bit the difference on those guys. Yeah, now uh, playtime with Anjirok. He was just <laughs> not having it. He just wanted to fuck around. That goofball. He's always happy smiling and uh, teeth in my face and all you know so <laughs> he's a happy boy a good lead dog as well uh, he's running together with Akpik in lead and they really they go well together <laughs> all right guys have a good one and uh, enjoy your time out I guess Thank you.